Uh, <laughs> I think I, I, my heart, I, I hope Pakistan win. I don't really don't want the English story. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really want the, I don't want I don't want the English to win, but I think the English have got a lot of firepower, especially from their batting. So it's going to be a huge challenge for Pakistan to be able to try and blow through their middle, uh, their top order in particular, because they do have a lot of match winners with a bat more compared to Pakistan. Um, but my, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going with Pakistan. What do you think Babar and Rizwan shouldn't do the opening? Why? Why? Because when when they're on, they're so um, they're so hard to be able to actually contain. They're, that's so technically correct. It looks like they're not really taking risks when they're going and scoring so freely. So, and they're a very good um, foil together as well because Baba's more just hitting loose balls, whereas Rizwan takes the game that on a little bit more. It's in a different spaces. So, um, oh, you wouldn't break that up because when they're going, as they sh um, showed in that in the semi-final against New Zealand. They just take the game away from the opposition one, against the world-class bowlers. Yeah. So what's your prediction for the player of the match? One set, one set, one set. Shane, just on the, the weather, how desperate will the players be to get the result today? <laughs> Everyone's desperate to get a result today. Um, no one wants to come back for the um, for the rest day. So um, so far, well, I, I expect it to arrive here today and it'll be raining just by with the forecast the way it is. So hopefully, hopefully the rain stays away enough to be able to get a full game in more than sort of a reduced game. But no, everyone's got their fingers crossed, that's for sure. All yeah. right, cool. Thanks so much, Thank you. 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 The start of the tournament he wasn't because he's coming off from injury and that's that's totally understandable but that last game he's really found his groove so the English batters they're going to have to be ready to go first ball because Shane Chowfridi is bowling 150 swinging in at pace which he did for me in one PSL game as well only faced one ball I was walking back so um, he knows how to do it incredibly well. Well yeah it's a uh, they were they were fortunate things fell their way but that's that's not just as individuals that's collectively in tournaments that's the things that you need falling your way at times to be able to get into those knockout games and then put on a performance like they did against New Zealand so um, no one no in the end when when the team when the win the winners announced no one cares what their team's journey is really up until the final all that matters is how they play in the final so um, it's certainly been it was a little bit interesting that they weren't up, Pakistan weren't really able to get up and get going um, but things fell their way so that South African game with Netherlands <laughs> beat South Africa which no one still really can get their head around that happened but in the end it meant that Pakistan has had an opportunity to be able to play the game they did against New Zealand because that was a very very dominant display so if they bring that game again tonight then they're going to be very hard to beat. Shane, Shane, what you mean, would it be right to say it's um, world class bowling versus world class batting? Oh, yeah it's as simple as that and, that, and that's where the game's going to be won or lost. If, if the Pakistan quick bowlers in particular can really do some damage in that English top order, then that's that's their way of being able to win the game. But if they don't, then it's going to be a struggle. Shane, uh, just uh, your take on, I suppose, the, the massive kind of South Asian um, crowds we've had at this tournament, yeah. the atmosphere, yeah. like look around here right now. Like, yeah. what, what, what's, it, what's it been like for you and, and, and how do you see that in terms of, I suppose, where cricket is going well, I just know how passionate the um, India and Pakistan fans are, and obviously the Bangladeshis and Afghanis and Sri Lankans as well, but you see the sheer numbers of the Indians and Pakistanis that are here in Australia coming along to the games. That's I know that's a passion that's there. I've been, I've been fortunate enough to go to Pakistan and play in the PSL, to go in India and play in the IPL, so I know how much passion and how many numbers there are as well who absolutely love the game, and we're seeing that in this T20 World Cup. So with the Australia, even the Australian games, they were pretty poor attendances compared to the Pakistan and Indian games. Games are like home ground, home games for them. So um, that's the way the world's moving. It's and, exciting. And just uh, one, obviously, with your sort of game with ACA hat on. I think there's no, with my experience, there's no, there's no real issue. Yeah, there's a little bit of, um, there's a little bit of hangover from what happened with Justin Langer, um, whether that's the players, whether that's also just the way that situation was handled um, from the, the past players, even with their frustration around cricket Australia and how they handle that as well. So, um, yeah. Um, Shane, um, last yeah, one, there won't be. One. It's, it's not an issue. And if, if there is a little issue between a, a couple of players and a couple of past players. I'm, I know it'll be sorted out because in the end, the, the past players, they, they love, they just want the Aussie team, the Aussie boys to to be as good as they possibly can be. Shane, 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 Baba? The same question. Yeah, well, same question. Same question. Oh, gosh, well, you'd be trying not to think about it too much right at this moment in time. You'd be, um, 
what you're trying to do is conserve as much mental energy as you can so then when game time hits that you're ready to go that you've got all your mental energy because it's so it's so easy to overthink what might happen how big an event it is how big a game it's going to be and before you know it you've just been overthinking and working through all the scenarios that you might not, might not have to worry about so I think most of the players will just be very aware of keeping their mind off it, thinking about something else. So, um, so then they, when they get into the middle, then they, they can access all the skills they've got. What's the, key, what's the key to victory today? You look at the two opening partnerships, yeah. the big fast bowlers. What do you see as the key? I think the biggest matchup is the Pakistan quick bowls against the England top order. Whoever, for me, whoever wins that battle will win. Will win the game. So, um, because England's England's powerhouse op top order is just so good if they get going. Um, but that's also Pakistan's strength is their fast bowling, especially Shane Shafri in the last game. He, he started to really find his mojo after being out injured. It takes a bit of time to sort of get your just get your body aligned, just get everything sort of working in in sequence against. And he certainly had that against New Zealand, so he'll be ready to have a go at Josh Butler in particular as well.